Welcome to flarebartending.tv. My name is Chris and today we are going to be reviewing a product. It's called a 28 ounce weighted tin or a 28 ounce unweighted tin. These really are the standard uh, tins that you see that uh, we use in all the videos here, uh, not only for flare bartending, but also just for regular uh, bartending and making drinks. Uh, the difference between the weighted and the unweighted, let me come up close here and show you, they really are almost ex uh, essentially exactly the same except for this weight on the end right here that's been spot welded on. You can kind of see that. Um, the difference between them and as far as practical use uh, in flare bartending, I absolutely prefer having a weighted tin. Um, most flare bartenders do, probably 90% of them will use the weighted tins, although I will say um, I do know a couple flare bartenders that are absolutely fantastic, decades beyond me, uh, and they do prefer the unweighted tin. Um, so there's really no wrong or right answer here, it's really a matter of personal preference. The reason I like the weighted tin is that it tends to have a better spin to it. Having a weight on the end uh, really gives it a, just kind of a more even and predictable flow. Uh, Whereas having an unweighted tin, I find, is just a little lighter and it kind of throws me off a little bit. Um, but if that's what you like to use, it's totally up to you. I recommend getting the weighted tins, although I do also add the caveat that uh, sooner or later, ultimately, your weighted tin will become an unweighted tin. Uh, the more and more you flip with them, these uh, weights on the bottom are just kind of spot welded on uh, in one spot. Um, I've had some that have lasted three, four, five, six years, and I've had other ones that have lasted um, a week or two, uh, usually not that short, but somewhere in between there, uh, because ultimately when you drop these, uh, if you're practicing on a hard surface, on concrete or something like that in a park, um, you're gonna find that the, the, the spot weld comes undone. So if you're practicing over a mat or a carpet or something like that, these really should last you a long time. So the weight, uh, don't be too concerned about that. They range in price, uh, usually about four to five bucks. Um, I'll put a link below this in the description section where you can uh, buy them uh, through me if you like and I get a little commission for that um, and uh, you can use those uh, to practice so, so I definitely recommend getting uh, at least two to start uh, if you just get one you're going to I mean if that's all you have money for that's fine make that work uh, but ultimately you're gonna be wanting to have I mean I've got <laughs> I've got stacks of these uh, because they come in really handy for, I mean, these are a bunch of them. They come in handy for a move we're gonna call uh, called the multi-pour um, that is just pouring a bunch of drinks using all of these. So can't have enough tins. Um, and these are a great just standard use uh, weighted tin. So that is the weighted tin. Uh, whether you get, the, make sure it's 28 ounce. That is the, the most important thing. Whether you get weighted or unweighted, uh, there are the 14 ounce and the 16 ounce uh, tins that are the smaller ones that go inside and we'll review those in a separate one. Uh, but this is the 28 ounce uh, weighted tin. It's also known sometimes as a Boston shaker or a Mako shaker or a shaker tin. Uh, but I'll link to it below this video and you can check them out. Like I said, get a couple of them, two or, th two or three to start because you're gonna find we're gonna be doing multiple tin moves and you're gonna wanna have a couple. Plus it's nice too when you're practicing to have a couple extra ones. So if you drop it, you don't have to, always be chasing after it. You can just have a couple of spare uh, handy nearby to practice. So good luck and use these to practice practice.